today we have met Mr. Sudhir Bandar. He is the campaign manager of Wall Mosquito Program. So why did you decide to implement this program in Sri Lanka? So um, thank you very much actually for coming to our press conference today. Uh, the reason actually why the World Bank method came to Sri Lanka is actually based on a, a series of discussion. Uh, it's a government to government project. So the Australian government went between the Sri Lanka government and impl implemented this method uh, in Sri Lanka. The reason actually there was no proper medicine for um, dengue. And the only thing what we can do right now is preventing dengue. So uh, the, all the, 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 uh, the, the methods currently we are using, like uh, the, the fogging and uh, the, uh, these kind of things, it's uh, we are using, but still the dengue, uh, the reporting cases are increasing. So I have the alternate option. This Dolbeckia method has introduced to Sri Lanka. So we are trying uh, trying this method out in uh, Sri Lanka in two uh, pilot area areas. Uh, one is actually uh, Nugegoda MOH area and uh, the other one is uh, in Greater Colombo, CMC D1 MOH area. So we are trying out this uh, a pilot project in those two areas and we'll, we'll see the results after that. Um, considering the results actually, we will be able to expand into the island wide. Has this program been successful in other countries where World bacteria, bacteria carrying mos mosquitoes were released? Of course. So uh, this World Mosquito Program actually they launched as well as we are very first in uh, Australia. So uh, they have uh, already co conducted this program in other 12 countries including Sri Lanka. As example, uh, Indonesia, Vietnam, um, uh, Vanuatu, uh, and Brazil, and Mexico. And uh, recently they approached India as well. This program was implemented in many countries. Which country is the most successful one? Uh, so far, the Australia is the best and uh, they have eradicated uh, dengue in there. But there will be some uh, dengue cases happening because of uh, tourists and travelers. But uh, they, uh, uh, they have reduced uh, like more than 90% the cases around the Townsville area, the northern part of the Australia. Thank you. Thank you. The haunting memory of dengue is the body ache. The fever was... I, I, I really cannot explain. The world is facing a global health emergency. One in three people are at risk from mosquito-borne diseases. 390 million people are infected each year with diseases like dengue, Zika, chikungunya and yellow fever and climate change is making this worse by the day. The World Mosquito Program is protecting communities from the suffering caused by these diseases. We've successfully implemented our groundbreaking technology with communities around the world, reaching more than 3 million people in 10 countries, and shown it's self-sustaining and highly effective. Far North Queensland is now essentially a dengue-free area for the first time in well over a hundred years. We never thought that there could, would come a time somebody would research on a mosquito that is safe. When we re release it that day, it like uh, we are releasing hope. But we're not stopping there. We're taking our groundbreaking solution to the next level, protecting more people in more villages, towns, cities, countries and continents around the world. E que eu acho que deve ser replicada em vários outros lugares, aqui no Brasil, na África, em qualquer lugar do mundo, dá certo. To fight mosquito-borne diseases and improve the lives of millions of people. 
together. Hopefully, in the not too distant future, all these mosquito-borne diseases will be a thing of the past. The mosquito, known as Aedes aegypti, originated in Africa. Over the last 400 years, it has spread throughout all tropical regions of the world, transmitting viruses to people. We are working on a way to stop this mosquito from transmitting dengue. Our method uses naturally occurring bacteria called Wolbachia that live inside insect cells and are passed from one generation to the next through the insect's eggs. Wolbachia are found naturally in up to 60% of all the different species of insects, Insects that include fruit flies, moths, dragonflies, and butterflies. The secret to the success of Wolbachia is how it manipulates the reproduction of the insects it lives in, so to give itself an advantage. It works like this. If a male insect has Wolbachia and mates with a female that doesn't, then the eggs she lays won't hatch. If the female has Wolbachia and the male doesn't, she would lay her normal number of eggs. They would all hatch, and all offspring will carry Wolbachia. When two insects that both carry Wolbachia mate, the eggs will hatch and all offspring will carry Wolbachia. Over a few generations, the number of individuals carrying Wolbachia increases rapidly until nearly all the insects within a population have the bacteria. We wanted to see if we could use Wolbachia as a way to stop dengue transmission. To do this, we first had to move Wolbachia into the mosquito so that it would grow and be passed between generations. Using microscopic needles, we took Wolbachia from the fruit fly and injected it directly into young Aedes aegypti eggs. It took us thousands and thousands of attempts, but finally, we were successful. We then took the mosquitoes that contained Wolbachia and infected them with dengue and found something really exciting. The virus didn't grow well in the mosquito, and if it can't grow, it can't be passed between people. Our next step was to build large enclosed outdoor cages in northern Australia that we filled with local mosquitoes. We then introduced mosquitoes containing Wolbachia to see if it could spread into the cage population. And it did. We now wanted to test the method where dengue is found. But before we did this, we needed the government to examine the safety of our method and approve our trials. Then, we needed to gain the support and approval of communities to release mosquitoes containing Wolbachia. With these approvals, we began our first open field trials in Australia in 2011. Wolbachia mosquitoes were released once a week for 10 weeks. And within a few months, close to 100% of the mosquitoes had Wolbachia. And years later, they still do. Ongoing trials in Australia and dengue endemic countries are now determining the best way to deploy Wolbachia across whole cities. It is our hope that with continued success, the Wolbachia control method will protect the health of the 2.5 billion people that live in dengue transmission areas.